Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a new quilt block. New for me anyway. I don't think I've ever done this one. Watched a video, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago. It always stuck with me. I looked it up. I will link to it down below. I am going to do a few things differently than that video, but it gave me an idea and I can't wait to go with it. We are going to be making a wonky five point star and it's wonky in a couple of ways. We are going to cut it wonky where I don't think they did it in the video wonky. We're not using a pattern. They used a pattern in the video and uh, she swapped out the center so that the center was not the same color as the points. I'm leaving the center the same color as the points. I know this sounds like a lot of stuff that you don't need to know. Why don't we just get started? Two squares. Now you could cut four squares or whatever you're comfortable cutting, but two is going to make two blocks and then if you want to make two more, they'll be wonky in a different way. So I think I like that idea. And I'm starting with some nine and a half inch squares because I sell a lot of nine and a half inch squares and in case somebody has some and they'd like to try it. Here's the deal. I'm going to do the cutting right here and then I will take you to the sewing machine because nothing is going to match up on this. That's the beauty of it. And I'm not making that up. That's the way it was done in the other video. If she can do it, I can do it. And we have permission to do that. So the um, intersections like where the star points attach are not going to line up and we're not even making points on the stars. I love that so we don't have to worry. We might accidentally have some points but we don't need to. So here's the deal. I'm going to freehand cut. I know what a star looks like. So just watch what I'm going to do. <laughs> and if I screw up, I screw up. I didn't practice. This is it for me. I'm going to cut a line this way. This will be the top of the star. And I'm going to cut it wonky at an angle. So I'm going to turn this just for my sake and maybe go down, I don't know, maybe like to here somewhere. That's going to be the top. So let me just go like this. I'm probably like two and a half inches down and then maybe three inches on this side. Very scary. Now I'm going back this way. So that's the top of the star points. <laughs> now we're going to do a big A. And I'm going to come in a little bit here. You don't want to be too close to the edge. So I'd say at least an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And I'm going to do that on both sides, like from here up to here. And I'm not coming to a point. I'm going to leave a gap between those lines. So maybe just like this, and then like this. This one's going to be much wonkier. Now we need to make the point that goes this way. If you think you're going to get confused with this, draw yourself a friggin' star on a piece of paper or print something out and use that. Print a bunch of them and then you can just, uh, you know, cut right through the paper too. That was the way she did it in the other video. Um, I just don't feel like doing it that way. So here's, I'm just lifting this up. So I'm going to come about here. I'm not making a, a perfect point. Here to about here, like that. So I'm just coming under this cut line and inside this cut line. And I'm going wonky. Now I have to do that in this direction also. So here's my cut line. I have to go on the inside of this cut line and on the inside of this cut line. I'm sticking a little bit because I my mat has so many grooves. This is where I'm at. I stopped and snipped a few threads that were holding these pieces together. I have grooves in my mat, so it's not my rotary cutter. It's the mat. It doesn't cut good when you have grooves. All right, so I just separated these a little bit so you can see what we've got going on here. Now, we're just going to swap these corner pieces. Or I could just put this one aside. I'm going to be building the second star with that one. So let me take the black out. So I want my star to be gold for this one. 
and I'm leaving the center gold. This is where I said um, you could you can swap it and let the center be black. I want my star to have all the same color. So there, and I'm taking the black out there, and the black out there, and then this we want black. Like I said, I'm building the other one. You can't see it. It's off camera. I want gold here. I want black down here. I want gold here. And I want black here. So you see what I did? We have a star and we have all these black pieces outlining it. Now we just have to put this all back together. And we have to do it a certain way so that it's easy to put things back together. I'm going to start with the top. I'm going to sew these three together. Let's go to the machine. You may hear my mother's TV watching Lifetime movies. All right, now here's the beauty of this. It doesn't matter if we sew straight or not. We're just going to sew these three together. Don't worry about where you're putting your fabric. Just put it right sides together kind of matching up that straight line and so you don't have to worry about your seam allowances either and now I'm going to put this one on this really is stress-free I actually did a pretty good job of getting everything matched up even when I didn't have to now I'm going to sew these three pieces together right here and again, not going to concern myself at all. Now this one, see, it's going to be trimmed here. You can see that it's not even, and that's okay. Now let's put um, these two together. Now let's put these three together. And now I can start putting the rest of this together. I'm going to attach this to this, but I need to make a straight edge on this piece and on this piece. And it can be wonky. Like that and I do not have to match up this intersection. Just don't worry about it. Because we didn't allow for seam allowances on each individual piece, they are never going to match up. So that's why you don't have to worry about it. In fact, you can purposely like not match it up. This is the piece I just did. I'm going to attach this to here, but again, I'm going to make a straight edge and here. Putting this here. Now we have just this to add right there. You know, it's hard, even for me, the queen of wonky. It's a little bit hard for me to like this much mismatched stuff, but I'm going with it. Let me make the other one off camera, and then I will trim them, and we will take a look. I'm done. I have the two uh, blocks made, but I haven't trimmed yet. Now, I don't know, I really would have to go watch the other video, but you can go watch it. Between her video and my video, you'll probably learn something. I am like, you know, way off. I don't know, but these are going to be much smaller blocks than I thought. We started with nine and a half. I think I can probably get seven and a half. Let's see. Here's the deal. These came out way wonkier than I ever thought they would. I needed to go to seven inches and I like them. I love that we're not going to have points. You don't need to worry about it. It's a star. It looks like a star. And even though these two were cut, you know, at the same time, 
they don't come out exactly the same. It all depends on, you know, how you put the pieces together and also how you trimmed them. So I really, I really like them. I do. I think they came out super cool. I will take some pictures. And um, like I said, I will link down below to the video I watched. Go watch that. Come back, watch me again, whatever. And uh, between the two of us, you will find a way to do this. I really enjoyed it. The only thing not cool for me is I really like to do chain piecing and it would be very complicated to keep track of all that. You pretty much need to build one block at a time, but that's okay. And you don't have to make a whole quilt of all these. It's just cool to know how to do this. Maybe for like four cornerstones on a big quilt. Huh? I think that would be nice. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.